Welcome to Health Facts with Dr. Dinesh. In this video, we're going to find out why some patients have persistent symptoms after COVID-19 infection and whether COVID-19 infection is a chronic or an acute disease and how we could get rid of or reduce the effect of inflammation and scarring in our vital organs after COVID-19 infection with the help of 5 plus 1 supplements. In my last videos, we talked about persistent symptoms after COVID-19 infection. Symptoms such as fatigue, dyspnea, which is uh, difficulty breathing, joint pain, chest pain, cough, anosmia, which is loss of sense of smell, and so on and so forth. In this post-COVID-19 infection follow-up, as you can see, more than 50% of patients have uh, fatigue and close to 50% of patients have dyspnea or uh, difficulty breathing. However, in this article published in Science Magazine recently, they're talking about the serious damages of a COVID-19 infection on end organs or vital organs in our body. Uh, and then we're talking about the pain that linger. Uh, a subset of COVID-19 patients experiences ongoing symptoms and complications such as organ damage, and researchers are proposing reasons for some of them. And scientists are trying to identify such symptoms, how common they are, how long they last, who is at risk, and how to treat and prevent them. Some of the serious symptoms that could affect the patient's life and job and everything are as follows. Number one, brain fog. Difficulty thinking can occur after acute COVID-19 infection. The virus may damage brain cells and inflammation in the brain or body may also cause neurologic complications. Other viral infections can also lead to brain fog. Number two, shortness of breath, which we talked about. Doctors are eyeing long and hard complications, including scarring. Scarring is very important. Patients who become critically ill with COVID-19 seem more likely to have lingering shortness of breath, but those with mild cases are also at risk. Number three, heart arrhythmias. The virus can harm the heart and doctors are concerned about long-term damages. How the heart heals after COVID-19 could help determine whether a patient develops an irregular heartbeat. Number four, hypertension. Some patients have high blood pressure after an acute infection even when cases were rel relatively mild and people were previously healthy, possibly because of uh, the virus targets blood vessels and heart cells. One example of post-COVID-19 infection, brain fog, which is lingering month after uh, COVID-19 infection, is neuroscientist Atina Ikrami, who has had debilitating symptoms since her coronavirus infection more than four months ago. Atina Ikrami's neuroscience lab reopened last month without her. Life for 38-year-old is a pale shadow of what it was before March 17, the day she first experienced symptoms of the novel coronavirus. At University College London, UCL, Ikrami's students probe how the brain organizes memories to support learning. But at home, she struggles to think clearly and battles joint and muscle pain. I used to go to gym three times a week, Krami says. Now my physical activity is bed to couch, maybe couch to kitchen. She adds, everybody talks about a binary situation. You either get it mild and recover quickly, or you get really sick and wind up in the ICU. Who falls into neither category? Thousands echo her story in online COVID-19 support groups. 
outpatient clinics for survivors are springing up, and some are already overburdened. Grammy has been waiting more than four weeks to be seen at one of them, despite a referral from her general practitioner. The likelihood of a patient developing persistent symptom is hard to pin down. One group in Italy found that 87% of a patient cohort hospitalized for acute COVID-19 infection was still struggling two months later. Data from the COVID symptom study, which uses an app into which millions of people in the United States, United Kingdom, and Sweden have tapped their symptoms, suggest 10 to 15 percent of people, including some mild cases, don't quickly recover. As we all know, COVID-19 infection can induce a dramatic inflammation, uh, even in our brain. As you can see, but the danger comes when the body responds out of proportion to the infection, says Dr. Hajra, a physician at Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City. She continues to care for those who were infected in spring and are still recovering. Despite the novelty of SARS CoV 2, its long term effects have precedence. Infections with other pathogens are associated with lasting impacts, ranging from heart problems to chronic fatigue. Dr. Zandi says even common illnesses such as pneumonia can mean a month-long recovery. I see a lot of people who had uh, encephalitis, which is brain inflammation, uh, three, four years ago and still can think or are tired. Dr. Zandi is a neurologist at UCL. Massive inflammation can affect cardiac function. The virus can blunt the function of ACE2 receptors, which normally help protect heart cells and degrade angiotensin II, a hormone that increases blood pressure. Stress on the body from fighting the virus can prompt release of adrenaline and epinephrine which can also have a deleterious effect on the heart, increasing troponin, which is going up during heart attack, for example. This troponin enzyme could be elevated in 20 to 30% of hospitalized COVID-19 patients and signifies cardiac damages. A paper this week in JAMA, a Journal of American Medicine Association Cardiology, found that 78 to 100 people diagnosed with COVID-19 had cardiac abnormalities when their heart was imaged on average 10 weeks later, most often inflammation in heart muscle. Many of the participants in this study were previously healthy and some even caught the virus while on ski trips, according to the authors. So what happens is that COVID-19 infection creates a dramatic inflammation in certain endorgans such as lungs, heart, kidney, brain. And after that, after a while, this inflammation uh, with the response of the immune system could create scarring in the same uh, endorgan. And this scarring makes this disease chronic. As you may remember, the most common persistent symptom after COVID-19 infection is fatigue. And you might have fibrosis in the lungs and that will make you feel fatigued. You might have impaired heart function and that will make you feel fatigued. Trying to trace symptoms to their sources is critical to understanding and ultimately managing them. So to reduce the inflammation and the scarring in different vital organs in a patient with COVID-19 infection, as mentioned in our past videos, we need to start zinc citrate 40 milligram per day with a zinc ionophore such as quercetin, with vitamin D3 4000 IU a day to improve our immune system, Vitamin C, 1 to 3 grams per day to improve our immune system function and to decrease the endothelial damage caused by COVID-19 infection. 
and acetylcysteine, 600 mg, 2 to 3 caps per day, to decrease endothelial damage caused by oxidative stress as a result of uh, the attack of COVID-19 to our cardiovascular system. Last but not least, according to this article published in Wiley Library, which is highly respected database, uh, curcumin 500 mg per kilogram per day or curcumin BCM95, which is high concentrated curcumin 1500 mg per day, could actually have anti-inflammatory and anti-scarring effect in COVID-19, which is exactly what we want. Hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video and find it beneficial please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families and uh, like always stay happy and healthy thanks and have a great day